All right, we're gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna be taking my square full cover tips and my nail bit. This is the medium grit sanding band and I'm just gonna be cleaning up my cuticles and removing any shine from my natural nail. My e-file is on four RPM, so it's not gonna do any damage to the natural nail. Next, I'm going to be taking this Young Nails Protein Bond. If you do your own nails at home, you need this. Trust me. Your nails are going to last two to three weeks without any lifting with this stuff. It's a game changer. And I'm just going to be applying one layer of this Protein Bond. I'm going to be taking this Gelish Pro Bond and I'm going to be chemically etching the inside of the full cover tips. You can use your e-file if you don't have a nail primer, but this is just easier and quicker for me personally, so that's why I use this. This is the gel glue or builder gel in a bottle I'm going to be using. It's by Savvy Land. I've used quite a few brands. I think they all work the same. Um, some are a little thinner or thicker than others, but for me they all work the same. And I'm just going to be applying one layer on my natural nail and curing for 30 seconds. So I turn my nail lamp over, that way it's easier for me to insert my hand to cure the full cover tips. I'm going to do a little close up because so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to apply a small amount of the builder gel or glue gel, whatever you want to call it, to the bottom of the nail. Um, the bigger your nail beds are, the more gel you're going to need. I have really small nail beds so I don't put much. I'm going to start from the bottom and spread it out a little bit and start from the bottom and push up just to avoid air bubbles. And I'm going to press it down with my index finger and kind of clean up any gel that spilled out. And this is the final product with all of the nail tips on. This length is a little bit too long for me. I used to rock this length, but now that I'm a mom, I have to have like mommy length. And um, I'm just gonna cure the full set with uh, 60 seconds under the lamp. Um, I'm gonna cut my thumbs a lot shorter than the other nails just because I need to get my son in and out of the car seat. And if my thumbs are too long, I'm not able to buckle and unbuckle the car seat. So. I always cut my thumb shorter if you're wondering why that is, that is why. And then I'm just going to trim the other nails a little bit shorter. I'm going to take my 100-180 grit file and just shape my nails up to be a little bit more sharp and square. I don't really like a squabble look, I like a very sharp square look. So that is what I'm going to be doing, you can do any shape you'd like. I'm going to clean up around the cuticle with the medium grit nail bit again and taking off any shine from the nail tips because you want your gel polish to stick to your nails without any peeling or lifting. So that is why I'm removing all shine. And this is what both hands look like with my little shorty <laughs> short thumbs and uh, with all the shine removed. So before I get into polish, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some swatches of the um, coffee collection that I received from Nail Reserve. This is the color Ambrosia. <laughs> if I mispronounce uh, these names, I apologize, but this is just a creamy, it looks like a coffee creamer, to be honest. Um, this collection is super creamy and pigmented. Honestly, with these colors, you only need one layer and you're going to be good. Um, these polishes are also vegan and free of all that nasty stuff, so I feel good about putting this polish 
on my nails. This color is also really pretty. It's more of a nude shade, um, very neutral. This collection is very nude, neutral, as per the name, coffee collection. Um, it's just a lot of creamy nudes and um, also some darker nudes as well. I think it's a really good variation. This is actually the color I have on my nails. This is Beauty and the Nude. It is such a pretty nude color. I feel like it'll look good on everyone's skin tone. And um, I can foresee this being my favorite nude. This is Aphrodite's Lover. Aphrodite, however you say it. Uh, this is, we're going into the darker nudes now. So this is definitely a darker nude. Uh, as you can tell, it's not too dark, but this one almost has like a mauve tint to it. So if you like mauve light nudes, you'll really enjoy this color. Next is Caramel. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to put this on my nails. The shade is exactly what the color name is. It's a caramel color. It is so pretty. This is another color that's going to look great on everyone. This is going to be my go-to fall nude. It is so pretty. It, it's almost giving like peachy caramel, like caramel syrup vibes, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so... On to the next color. This might be one of my favorites. This is Italian Latte. So I would consider this more of a cooler tone. Correct me if I'm wrong, but personally I feel like this is like a cool, almost like a latte color pretty much, but it has more of a cool tone to it. So this is also another dark nude, as you can tell. Very unique shade. I haven't really seen anything like that. And this might be my favorite color of the entire collection. This is Persephone. Persephone? I'm definitely butchering that name. But this is like a chocolatey coffee shade. I love it. Oh my gosh. It's like a delicious color. I'm telling you. It looks delicious. <laughs> it looks like Hershey chocolate coffee. Or like a Java chip or something like that. It's just such a pretty color. I can't wait to use this for fall. You are definitely going to see this on my nails with a matte top coat and some like gold something. This is just so pretty. That is the final shade. Make sure to check out my link down below and use coupon SHERRYLR for 50% off. So we're going to go in with Beauty and the Nude. Like I said before, this is the color that I'm going to be putting on my nails. It is just a very cute nude color. I love neutrals. And of course, I'm just going to be applying this to all my nails. I'm going to be taking Nail Reserves, the No Wipe Top. I love a good No Wipe Top coat. Um, it's just one extra step that I don't have to do. Uh, so that's why I love a good non-wipe top coat. And after I'm done, I'm just gonna cure for a full two minutes. This is the shade all done and cured. I absolutely love this color. I mean, you guys, just look at it. It's a cute color. And then I added some gold chrome ombre to the tips. I think this was such a pretty touch. I've gotten so many compliments on these nails. I highly recommend using some gold chrome. It was my first time, so I don't know if I got the technique down yet. That's why I didn't show it. But hey, I think it turned out cute. Let me know what you think down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.